Joining is Steel Boss Radio 98.9 FM, and the program you're listening to is Whispers to Humanity. When I introduced the program, I told you that you should expect the bomb today on the program. We are going to change narratives on the program. We are going to be we're going to be looking really deep into the misconceptions that we are having. Because of course, all the opinions we have had so far are their opinions, which is very valid. Mm -hmm. And it's also understandable that people think a certain things until you start having more conversations about these things. Looking at the realities that men face and women face as well. Mr. Namdi said during their time, they had more uh, uh, men attending school, yeah. but now more women are interested. So why not give them more space as well? Today, we're just going to be looking at feminism, oppression, identities, and privileges. A whisper to humanity. Feminism for us is not uh, an ideology. In whisper, is a way of life for us. Feminism in whisper to humanity as a way of life that goes every day on and on to uplift the humanity of every human. And this includes women and men because as much as we might not accept it patriarchy and every system of oppression so when you're feeling that oh oppressing women is good for you you don't also understand the kind of oppression that you also put in your own gender true for us feminism is a way of life and this way of life is something that we are hoping that the whole of humanity can adopt it is a way of life that sees humans before anything else it's a way of life that understands that love should lead the way generally speaking for me i would always see oppression as any system that keeps on i don't care if this system is a system that is within you i don't care if this system is a system about you i don't care if this system is you but any system that is holding you and oppressing you and keeping you down is a system of oppression mm -hmm. some of the systems of, of, of oppression that are that are very dominant in our society now in a very patriarchal world is a system of oppression that oppresses women and this system of oppression comes in different form when you are seeing a human being less than a human being you're already oppressing the person True. when you are trying to limit the access a person has you're oppressing the person mm -hmm. when you are seeing reasons why you should not give the person access to what he or she wants you're oppressing the person and anything that does not go against humanity and human rights of people and anything that does not attack somebody is not something you should be fighting against True. and the only reason we are fighting against inequality is because inequality is oppressing women and is oppressing so many other people different minority groups as well when we are talking about oppression in feminism and why it is a very necessary thing to talk about is the fact that through these years women have been taught to take the back seats okay i don't have a problem if a woman decides to take a back seat if she wants to take a back seat mm -hmm. but what if she wants to take the front seat and the front seats she's able to take it so why not this system have existed so long where we have told women that they cannot have access to education where we have told women that there are limitations to the kind of work that they can do because we just feel that we they are women and they shouldn't do it okay this oppression this system has existed from the time immemorial where we have decided not to accept the fact that women are as much humans as men are mm -hmm. and they can make decisions for themselves did you imagine i come into the studio and tell you that oh uh, didi i don't like your hair mm -hmm. therefore you should cut it yeah you get i mean i forget the fact that you're your own human and mm -hmm. you decide how you want your hair to look and you decide yeah. what you want to be like so the system of oppression is something we have in one way or the other uplifted even as women and as men because as a woman those days that you have decided to oh uh maybe she shouldn't go for this position because she's a woman even when i'm a woman and i feel that being a woman is something to oppress you mm -hmm. with i'm already part of the system of oppression True. so it is it is problematic when people feel that as far as it's feminism that means women and men uh, women should agree and then it is a fight against men it is not what it is exactly. feminism is something we are doing it's, it's a way of life we are living to change the narrative and this narrative is the narrative of oppression so if a man feels that oh because you're doing feminism that's an attack on you no 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 it's not an attack on you because you're a man and you have certain uh, uh, physical uh, uh, assets as a man no that's not why it's an attack it's an attack you can only feel attacked as a man if you are part of the system of oppression hmm. if you're oppressing somebody you are already feeling like oh this is against yeah me. this is against me because i'm oppressing this person yeah so we should start defining it as what it is if you have any at any point as a woman as a man as 
as a young person, as an old person, seen reasons why somebody should not have access to what is rightfully theirs just because of the agenda. You're already an oppression on your own. Then I'm going to be talking about identities. Identities are we we are, okay? So my identity is that I'm Mary Jacob, and uh, my identities are that I'm a woman, I'm a size woman. My identities also include my, my skin color, mm -hmm. okay? Our identities is us. So your identity as a woman is you. Your identity as a man is you. Mm -hmm. But there is something we forget while speaking. Even when I listen to the men speaking, I, I, I heard them. He was very passionate what they spoke about and how they said women should do more work. I liked it. But there is something that we miss out in the fight for social justice, and that is privileges. So when we talk about privileges, it's accepting that there are things that you have that I don't have. And accepting that there is a system that is oppressing you, Didi, that is not oppressing BJ. Mm -hmm. And then when... Yes. Exactly. So when BJ is saying, ah, this system is oppressing, and yes, Didi, you should do something because he's oppressing. BJ forgets the fact that he's part of... The, the oppression is favoring him. Mm -hmm. Okay? So even if BJ is not aiding the oppression, it is favoring him. So that is a privilege for him. So the question is, how does DJ use his privilege, BJ use his privilege to support Didi's fight? Mm -hmm. Okay? So when we are talking about privileges, we're talking about those things that you have that put you at bar, that put you higher than some other people. And some of the privileges that people have could include uh, education. There's so many educated people and education is a privilege because not everybody has access to education. Of course, it's not supposed to be a privilege, but it is a privilege. And of course, being a man in the, in the world in Nigeria right now is a huge privilege. So today, it's beyond talking about feminism as a women's thing. It's understanding it as a part thing that what we need to do is give power to we is due. Mm. And it's not just that women are making agitations and saying, oh, we want to take this and we're not making moves, all right? I'm glad that one of the callers said he's he's very excited that women are coming out. Mm -hmm. And I'm also excited that people are saying, oh, that they, they are liking this conversation because it means that we are ready for this conversation to happen. But if we are ready for this conversation to happen, are we ready as privileged groups to shed some of our privileges mm. i'm hoping that after today more people are going to ask themselves questions of what privilege is their own and also as women as well that doesn't mean that we don't have privileges as women there are privileges that women have that some other women do not have mm -hmm. there are privileges of education that so many women and young girls do not have there's privilege of having the kind of exposure that you have that so many women and girls do not have probably because that the, the, there's there are issues of early child marriage there's issues of of uh lack of education there's issues of where they grew up the kind of exposure that they have there True. so the point is if we're really going to fight against oppression we're going to be fighting up against everything that upholds oppression which is everything that aids our privileges. Yeah. So as a young woman, that I'm very young and I'm educated, how am I helping bridge the gap for an older woman without education? How, how am I making sure that this woman and her children are not going to be oppressed, even when she has only male children who are very young and can't speak out for themselves and their mother? How am I making sure that I am upholding that spirit of feminism? And as a man, how are you making sure that you are not even part of the oppression? How are you making sure that you're not the reason why a woman is scared and unable to walk on the road? Mm. How are you making sure that you're not the reason why a woman is going to be discouraged to pursue her dreams? How are we making sure that even when we tell women to take up the space and do what they should do and enjoy their lives, how are we also making sure that in these processes, that we are bridging the gaps that are existing for women and la their lack of privileges. I hope that the idea of feminism is going to shift from just being an ideology of women fighting against men to the total thing of what the real thing is of taking up the space for people's humanity. And I also hope that people understand oppression to be something that holds a human down and not just a woman. All right. Mm. Wow. That, that 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 was really that was mind blowing. Yeah, thank you. Uh, also, if you're joining, it's still whispers to humanity on Boss Radio Night eight point nine FM over and Mary Jacob just did justice to some of the misconceptions of feminism. We had people who called in and uh, gave us their own understanding and explanation of feminism, and she has done a great work by diffusing some of those uh, things that we feel uh, this is the definition of feminism. This is who a feminist is. 
she has done an amazing job in doing that uh, i don't know if you can take uh, just a few whatsapp messages let me see if i can take one uh, mm -hmm. This one reads, good morning, I'm Chidube from Spielbat. The topic is an interesting one from the submission of the callers so far. It is obvious most of the factors hindering women's growth is cultural. I make bold to say that laws were made by men and when they become obsolete, they, they should be thrown out. Okay? Kam Si Rod Chuku from Obinze. Feminism is the belief that women should be allowed the equal rights, power, opportunities as men and be treated in the same way or set of activities. I never